My name is Chris Walker, and my life has been changed. Yeah, there have been a lot of trials in my life, but there are a couple that come to mind when I think about it. You know, especially being this year, the season not going the way it should be for us. You know, it's easy for a guy like me to be a senior who had so many expectations for this year to come around. And, you know, things, I'm not playing as well as I want to, but, you know, God told me just to continue to be faithful to him, and he'll bless me in due time. And, you know, just this past week I came out and had a great game. And that's just, I guess, a little bit of God coming out and showing that he's always there, he's always going to be with me. Uh, it was difficult, you know, growing up. My parents got divorced when I was five, and um, before, you know, before then we were going to church every Sunday, going to church on Wednesday, and it was just really fun to be able to go to church at a young age. But when my parents got divorced and that everything kind of fell through. When I was 16, my best friend dying was something that definitely shaped my faith in God. You know, just being able to be 16 and to see my best friend die in a car wreck and having such life that he had, you know, being a 17-year-old kid who had the world in his hands, you know, scholarship athlete going to the University of Kentucky, having everybody like him. It was just a trying time in my life to see how quickly and how easily he was taken away. But, you know, God showed me through that I had to live my life every day for him and that nothing could come in between me and him. So it was, it was something that really shaped my life, but it was something that also I'm grateful for. I think, you know, there's a misconception of trials are bad. I think that, you know, in the life that I've had, the 21 years I've been on this earth, I think I've had a lot of trials and they're not all bad. Trials help me and they have shaped me to what I am today and what God has made me. And I just want to encourage people when trials hit, you know, don't give up on God. You know, just put everything that you have in God, all the situations, all the bad that you think is coming in your life. Just let go and let God do his work. And that's what I've done. Every situation that's come in my life, I've just let God go. I did the whole coming to know Christ thing. Like, it's a little, little bit of an emotional decision, as all young kids do at an early age. But when I came to know a relationship with Jesus Christ was when I was my first year here in college at Tennessee. I went to an FCA college advanced thing and saw a bunch of other athletes that were elite student athletes. Just being able to praise God and see it, you know, see athletes on a different level was something that kind of persuaded me and, you know, just showed me that it's cool to be an athlete that loves God. And, you know, that's what kind of turned my life around. Well, it actually came from when my best friend died. Uh, they gave us little cards, all the people at the school that we went to, and it said, live life out loud. And that's something that since that point, I've actually put into motion. And, you know, it's just basically saying, live life out loud for God. Just let people know about how good God is and how awesome he is to you and how blessed that you are to, you know, have the abilities to be able to play at the University of Tennessee. And that's something, you know, and I was also talking to Chap, and he let me hear a song that talked about, it's called Loud. And it said, let everyone know over and over, you've got the victory, don't you understand? And that's just something that living out loud is supposed to do. Just let everybody know that you've got the victory over anything, over any trial in your life. It came about probably about last year. Nick Ravez and Chap and I we were all talking. And you know we wanted to do something that showed that we were giving God the glory in everything we do, good or bad. And that, that whole pound the chest and point to the sky came out. And it was also just a symbol of, you know, we're playing for God, we're giving God glory. And also for me that I'm playing for my best friend that died and just knowing that he's with me at every time on the field. It's easy to come to college and be a big time football player and you want people to remember you for what you did on the field, but that's not the case for me. You know, I understand that God has blessed me with the ability that I've had since I've been at Tennessee. And I don't want anybody to remember me for my football accolades. I just want them to remember the man of God that I was and, you know, the person that I was for God and trying to reach out to people, trying to always be a friendly person to people and just continue to spread God's word across Knoxville. I think my faith is something that is a very constant in my life every day. You know, I, I joke around with some of the guys, if I don't get in my word and read my devotion every morning, you can see a mood change in me and it's kind of it's kind of for the worst. But um, just being able to wake up every morning and get my first and 10 with God and just be able to dig deep in his word and read my devotion and pray, pray for my family, pray for my friends and everything. That's something that gets me going and that fills me up every day. My life has been changed because of my personal relationship that I have with Jesus Christ. And I just want to encourage you throughout everything that you go through in life, all the trials and all the struggles that you go through, you know, there's always a person that's always there with you who always loves you, and that's Jesus Christ. And I figured out that there was a gap between me and God because of my sin. And I completely gave control of my life to God and everything that I did. I realized that I've come closer to God from that. Just whenever there's a time where you feel alone and you feel down, 
you're not. God's always there for you and he wants to have a personal relationship with you.